Thank you for joining me on Icons of Wisdom. I am Charles Musakanda. I appreciate you taking the time to grow and to mature as we edify one another. On this February 2023 Black History Month, I continue to run with my organically homemade phrase, <laughs> Black Altitude Elevation, as we seek to elevate our altitude uh, based on historic Black historic events that we can uh, build from to better ourselves today and for generations to follow, that the black child may also be considered uh, and counted among other kindred folk, tongue, tribe, people, that uh, we're not looked upon as second-class citizens. And so today I'd like to touch on the moon landing and take three lessons from that. Um, I hope I can compress it all in, in a nugget. And so the moon landing, we know Neil Armstrong, very common name. We know the Apollo, of course, the shuttle, a uh, common name as well. But have you heard the name Katherine Johnson? I bet not. Most of us haven't. Some have. Uh, but Katherine Johnson is one of the few black women uh, that worked uh, on that whole, you know, um, mission. And they worked as mathematicians, calculating and, and, and routing or routing uh, the shuttle to the moon and back. So imagine mathematically calculating how to get there, a place that you've never been to, and making sure the vehicle, the shuttle itself, has sufficient fuel to get there and back, uh, that there is enough cabin pressure, uh, the oxygen is sufficient for the astronauts, all that was dependent on a group of black women that were hired on as mathematicians. And history says these women uh, were so good at their calculations, they were hired on as human computers. And there's a reason why I'm being very emphatic on, uh, about that, that fact and that point. Of course, there were black men who were also engineers, uh, you know, working the mechanics of the shuttle to make sure, again, that there's no room for error and it comes down safely, up and down safely. Mind you, when this was taking place, uh, it was in the heat of civil rights uh, movements and uh, that the black child and the minority groups were fighting hard to be recognized and to be accepted in society. So not only was it a harsh environment outside, it was also a harsh environment at work because their recognition was very little and they had to put extra work to prove themselves that they can do this. So amidst all those negative uh, factors coming at them, these black women still worked out the mathematics to get that shuttle back here safely and everybody was alive. So like I said, three lessons I'd like to derive from that as we elevate. First lesson, let us give our girl children equal education opportunity and privilege. Now, these nuggets are for the human race altogether. But as we focus on black history and black altitude elevation, I would like to just zone in on the black community and to remind us, particularly in poor uh, places, not even necessarily poor, but uh, maybe poor in the mind, uh, you know, places in Africa, in the islands, uh, and yes, even out here in North America, uh, where we would rather send a male child to school and hold back from the girl because maybe tuition is short or whatever other reasons. And we would rather the boy get the education because the girl has to stay home and uh, do the chores. And furthermore, teach our children, our girl, black girls, that uh, they should grow up to be uh, good cooks uh, and, and housekeepers and, and mothers, and whilst all those are great values to have, they're all grand, there's no greater title to have than that of a mother. But let it, let it not just be limited 
to that. We should allow our girl child the opportunity of education. Because many a times that historical events have proven that the human race at large has benefited from the intelligence and the contribution of the black girl in this world. Our girls are not only uh, uh, vixens in, 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 in rap videos and, 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 and models, uh, you know, and, and, and only loved for their body. They have a brain too. And a beautiful mind at that, a beautiful brain. So let's not just restrict and, and push our girls to only being, <laughs> uh, I'm going to coin a term, wopsies. If you don't know what wop is, ask any one of your teenage children. They'll tell you about that song. And our girl children should not be limited to just being wop, wopsies. And the second point I'd like to take from that, statistics say, or those who study, um, you know, finance and expenditure and everything, uh, they say in America alone, the black population of America makes about 13% of the American population. And of that 13%, those black children in America, Black people in America, rather, spend a good trillion dollars on average per year. Trillion dollar. Black people are a trillion dollar industry in themselves. Money in their hands, money in their pocket in America. And that money is spent on many other things that don't really give a good return for value. And we hand our money over to other groups of people that don't necessarily validate us as valuable players in the community. All the while, we're seeking their validation by spending money on them. So many are times that we've spent things on luxury goods and things that we don't need. And not to say you shouldn't spend or spoil yourself or uh, afford yourself the luxuries of life. But there is a good old saying that says, too much of anything is not good for you. So even too many fruits will not be good for you. We should have that limitation to know what is and what is not necessary. So that trillion dollars that the black American has in their pocket, now put it together with the black Canadian, black British, Black Islander, Black African, Black Australian, and, 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 and bring all that money together. If we were to invest that money in good education, not only sending our children to private schools, but building our own schools, that we can educate our children and give them good history, factual history, that they can build on and also use it for a better future, I think we would have a great deal. We would actually have our own moon landing. So we need to refocus, to recalibrate, rethink on how we spend our money and what we're doing with that money for our communities and for, 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 for us as a people. A very sad uh, um, uh, statistic comes out of the uh, uh, state of California. And they say in, a, in, in California alone, on average, 70% of the black child is illiterate. Meaning that these children could easily be fooled and they'll be gullible to any information because they're both illiterate spoken and written. So your history can be narrated by somebody else and it can be warped by anybody. And if we don't step up and invest in education, 
invest in essentials and stop relying on government and complaining about how urban schools uh, uh, don't uh, you know, treat our children fairly, don't give fair education, when yet we're spending our children's education fund on Mercedes Benzes and wigs, we have a long way to go, my people, a long way to go. So education is key. We have people like Dr. Mark Dean. I bet you don't even know the name. Most of us, that is. When yet Dr. Mark Dean is a black man who owns three of the nine patents that sit in your computer. The things that make your, your computer run, there's nine patents in there. And three of them, a third of your computer, is patented to Dr. Mark Dean. And he has 30 other patents that are waiting to be approved. That goes to show we have the brain. And the third point that I'd like to raise and uh, you know, extract from, from this historical uh, fact is the importance of us investing in greater things. You see, one man, Elon Musk, has managed to start a motor company, Tesla. As a matter of fact, he started with SpaceX. And SpaceX is rented, uh, I mean, a NASA rents SpaceX equipment to get things to the space, to the space station. One man managed to form a, a, a group, a, a, a corporation, have a group of engineers, and he himself owns space shuttles. Perchance he owns satellites. When yet we as a people, we have many rich celebrities across the globe. We have many billionaires across the globe. And yet not a single satellite is owned by black people. Here we are directing the Apollo to the moon. Here we are working the math to get there and back, engineering this vehicle to get it up there and back. And that was back in 1969. And here we are, 2023, and the entire continent of Africa does not own a single satellite. The entire continent of Africa does not own a single space shuttle. And as we speak, the space shuttle right now is constantly habited by Canadians, Americans, the British, Japanese, Russians, And we as black people don't have a representation necessarily. There's so much I could say in this nugget, but I, I, I believe you, you get the, the idea, the gist of what, what I'm trying to get at. So please, let's challenge ourselves by sharing, subscribing, Please comment, ask questions. Let us grow together. Let us mature. Proverbs 4, verse 7. It says, wisdom is a, fund is a fundamental thing. Therefore, get wisdom. For in all thy getting, get understanding. And the only way we can get understanding is to wise up and to grow together. Proverbs 4, verse 7. Read it at your own time when you have a moment. In all thy getting, get understanding. Thank you for joining me on Nuggets of Wisdom. I look forward to seeing you again soon. And I look forward to us growing, maturing, as we edify one another. And remember, Black Altitude Elevation.